Patch Fam, it's Elizabeth from ERW Plans on Instagram, ERW underscore plans. And today I'm going to show you how to make a Dutch door for your passion planner. Now, first things first, what is a Dutch door for your passion planner? Dutch door is generally when there's a piece of paper that um, isn't a full sheet, but is a half page that can flip back and forth. And I'll give you an example. I've used Dutch doors a few times this year so far. And as you can see, they're basically a little piece of paper that gets taped into the planner that you can flip to give you double the space at the bottom. On my Etsy shop, you can buy the template for this Dutch door, which will add a two-sided task list. You can also go to erwplans.com and download a blank Dutch door template so that you can put in a blank page or make your own. Once we have our paper printed out, we can go ahead and start with cutting. As you can see, we have our financial tracker on the one side, and on the other side, like a mirror image, we have our checklist. Now, because we need room to tape, we want to make sure that we leave the edges where it says tape here intact. So we're just going to start by cutting the strips. with our X-Acto knife and our T-square. And if we've done this correctly, then we should have Same thing front and back. We can trim off the edge here in order to use this as our tape in line, or we can cut off here if we're going to tape it in this way. Now, since my plan is to tape it in here so we have a continuous to do list, then we're going to cut off this edge here. But either way will work. Now that we have cut our Dutch door out, we're going to install it into our passion planner. The first thing we're going to do is score on the line with our scissors. There are also scoring tools that you may want to use. Scoring will just help make it easier to fold. You can do this along with your T-square, or you can just follow the line. Once you have it scored, we're going to go ahead fold the edge. At this point, I'm going to take my Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive and I'm going to put that along the edge where I'm going to stick it. You may notice that the adhesive is a little bit larger, but that's okay because we're going to use some washi tape to make sure that it adheres properly. I'm going to line it up, make sure there's plenty of room. I like to line mine with the bottom edge of the page. And then I'm just going to stick it down like that. And I will trim off this tiny little bit of excess on the corner so that it doesn't stick out of my planner. Now, to reinforce, I'm going to take some washi tape. You can use whatever color you like. I'm going to just use white to kind of keep everything similar. But if you wanted to, you could use a very thin green like this for yours. 
or whatever color matches. Then I'm going to take some white washi, measure it out, approximate. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm going to trim it down so that it's a better width and a better length. Now I'm going to take my washi, make sure that at least some of it is touching the paper edge. Cut, go back. Didn't like it, start over. Now I'm going to take some washi. You could use white washi here, or you could use a colorful washi. If you want to do something just for the narrow part here. And you want to tape down this edge here to reinforce it. I'm going to use my white washi. I'm going to trim up the edge so that it's nice and even. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've got this lined up with my scored edge. Like so. And I can trim that up a little bit later. I'm going to remove it from the one side. Nice thing about washi is it's super removable and really stick it into that crease there to make sure that it's very firmly holding into the book. Then we can use our scissors or you can grab your X-Acto knife or your slice tool, whatever your preference is. And you can go ahead and cut the excess washi off. Like so. And then trim up the edge. And now you have just doubled your to do list size and added a financial sheet in the back. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel. Once again, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is erw underscore plans. You can also find me on my blog, which is coming soon, erwplans.com. Also, just as a reminder, we are on every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time, so you can catch new episodes then. Until next time, take care, guys.